María Hall, quien hablará sobre el almuerzo típico isleño, es una cocinera tradicional de San Andrés, hija de la reconocida cocinera Miss Best y actual propietaria del restaurante Miss Best Rincón de la Guacamaya. I was born in Panama and came to San Andrés when I was a little girl with my mom and living with her. I learned to cook and we prepare um, just typical food uh, from this island. Our most important food is crab soup, rondong, fish, conks in all the different area. We prepare them, we make crab bag, we make um, crab soup, we prepare crab too as, um, as ceviche and conks, stew conks, conks salad, rondon conks, fry conks, in every area that anybody has it for, we will prepare it. Um, our most important food from this island is rondon. You know, islanders people are accustomed to make rondon from, from childhood, and um, that is one of our typical food from this island. Rondon prepared, with coconut milk, green plantain, turn plantain, yuca, yam, eh, bosco, and breadfruit, fish, conks, and pig tail. In the olden time, the rundown just used to make just with fish and the bread kind that I mentioned and dumpling. Um, nowadays, we prepare the rundown. They call it um, with three different things that is the pigtail, the fish, and the conks. And all the other ingredients, that is yuca, plantain, yam, uh, breadfruit, bosco, bananas, if we can have it, we make it with green bananas. For a crab soup, prepare with crab, uh, pigtail, plantain, green plantain, yuca, yam, and cocoa. Uh, we use to season onion, parsley, and margarine. That is the most important thing for the crab soup. Um, our stew conks, we prepare it just with conks and dumpling, and we use our normal season, that is onion, garlic, um, dumpling, uh, margarine, and parsley. And well, our crab back, you know how that prepare with stew crab. We make the stew crab and that the ingredients with that is just onion, parsley, and margarine and garlic. And hot pepper. No more ingredients for the, for the crab back. And well, I think we know about our fried fish. The most important thing that we make our fried fish with um, coconut oil. And we serve it with um, it could be breadfruit or green plantain, preparing a um, patacon and salad. That is the most important. Um, I have around, around 50 years cooking because I used to cook with my mom and I have 14 years. And now I have 66. So I have around 40 years old cooking and preparing Islanders food. Here we are going to prepare stew bile with fish. So our fish, sweet pepper, onion, garlic and margarine, and this is bay leaves. Okay. Salt and black pepper. So the fish is seasoned already with salt and black pepper. And this is the garlic, margarine, and basil. The margarine is the most important product that we use to make our fish when we are going to make stew bag. Also the basil. We can find margarine and basil. Okay, we can find margarine, margarine and basil in our yard at home when we plant it. Well, I had many plants out here, but they thief them, so I don't have the plant there, but they will bring it from home. And so this is the onion, 
a little bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of flour to brown to make this the sauce can come not too white. So I will proceed. Brown with coconut oil. So this is coconut oil and flour. Put it to brown. Brown in here, the flour with coconut oil. So we don't brown that already. We proceed to put the sweet pepper, the garlic, the onion, and the margarine. Oregano. husband and one of my nephew work with me right now and the next lady that um, that that I teach to prepare the Islanders food she is not an Islander but she know to prepare the food because I have um, from, from the 19, 1995 I've been training her to cook the Islanders food and she prepared the food just like how I prepare it so and my ne one of my nephews is collaborating with us and um, I have a this girl that serves out here that is the niece of my husband. So we do the cooking and the serving out here for the people. fish put the fish this is breadfruit this is yuca this is stern planting And this is green planting. So we proceed now to use a little bit of water to make it cook. Okay. Hey. When it's soon cooked. Put a piece of hot pepper. Five children, um, three girls and two boys, and all of them is um, we lost one of them, but the other rest is, is here study and um, working. One of my daughter, the last one, she lives outside in America to the states, and they are working here in the island. Um, and about my mom. Uh, I get to know everything about cooking from her. Not only typical food, but we prepare cake, wedding cakes, um, uh, 
wedding cake, we prepare cake for baptism, for christening, birthday, anything they want it for, we, we prepare it also and decorate them also. And um, she was one of the best cooks of this island, international cook. And she went to all part of the world cooking. And until now, she go to she went to the state. She went to Bogota, Cartagena, eh, Barranquilla, Cali. With the most the most important event is when she went to the to the um, um, Bogota to the. Ya después de 25 minutos aproximadamente, ya tenemos nuestro plato aquí de stew bile. After 25 to 30 minutes, we have our stew bile here ready. Here you have your stew bile, ready to eat. This one, big hotel Bogota, that she went and prepared the food. I don't remember the name of the, the hotel right now, Grand Hotel International or something like that. She went to Bogota and she received um, some prizes for being the best cook of the, of the island. In one of the time I went with her to, to Cartagena to prepare in the, in the in Grand Hotel International, and um, she prepared deer, warrandong, crab soup, and, and fish. That was one of the most important, important food she prepared there in Cartagena. Uh, my next thing that we like, she used to be one of the dancers also. She used to participate in, in queen contests and, and great programs like um, like um, ring 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 play and things like that and that's why she she used to be the best and that's why she come out to be her name Miss Best. That's why they give her that name Miss Best. So that is um, part of the important thing. Well she passed away in the 1999 and from that time well to know well I am still here doing the, the best of the the best of the cooking in this island. And the most thing that I like to prepare is the rondong and um, I love to make the, the stew fish and um, and the crab soup. The, mo the most ah uh, and the most important thing, the stew fish. Uh, we have many ways that we can make the stew fish. Sometimes we fry the fish and then we stew it. Or we can make the stew fish without fried, that then call it white stew. And that, that is one of the stew fish that the people, they love to, to eat. And well, one of them is one of what I'm going to prepare today, is the stew bile. That stew bile, uh, we prepare it with, with fish, only with fish, and we use uh, yuca, plantain, uh, dumpling, um, green banana or green bosco, and breadfruit. Today, we don't have the green banana and the bosco, so we're going to apply the breadfruit, the yuca, the turn plantain, and the green plantain. And that is one of the best, that is one of the, the best um, stew fish, stew bile we can make in this. Some people like to um, elevate the this, this stew bile. Some people love to elevate the stew bile and they, they put um, pigtail and different things, but that is not really, really come from the typical native food. Because in those times, we never used to use pigtail. We just used to use the fish and our bread kind, what they call bread kind, the fish and the bread kind. We never used to use nothing like pigtail and things like that. Well, if they have canned pork, they would put a piece of canned pork in it to elevate up and to build it up more. But right now, 
that is the typical food we need. Well, I will just prepare the fish with the component what it drinks. 